Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the LED Chevron Arrow Kit. This kit consists of about 30 LEDs, various resistors, other components, a circuit board, and a black component to put over the LEDs. First up, we have the resistors. The grey, red, brown resistors go in R1 to R5, just there to there. The yellow, purple, brown resistors go in R6 to R9, which are just there, 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 and there. The orange, orange, orange resistors Go in R10 to R14, there to there, and the yellow, purple, red resistors go in R15 and R16, just there and there. When putting the resistor in the board, make sure you bend the legs like this and match up the resistor with the desired location on the board. So, for these resistors, the grey, red, brown ones, they go in R1 to R5. Now that the resistors are on the board, you need to solder them into place. Make sure to first turn on your soldering iron, tin the tip with the solder, let it heat up, and then apply heat next to the component lead and the track and feed in the solder. Then snip off the excess. Up next is the other diode, and this goes in ZD1, just here. Again, checking for polarity, that the black stripe matches up with the white one on the board. Up next is the IC socket, which goes in IC1 on the board, just here. Making sure that the little curve at the top there matches up with the one on the board. Up next are the capacitors. These two capacitors here go in C1 and C3, while this one here goes in C2. Up next is the switch, and this goes in SW2, just here. Up next we have the five transistors. These BC547C transistors go in T1 to T5. T5 just there, and T1 just there. Up next we have the trimmer, and this goes in RV1 on the board, just there. Up next we have the power jack. And this goes in SK1, just there. Now we have the electrolytic capacitor, which goes in C4 on the board, just there. 
Now we have the push button, which goes in SDW1 on the board, just there. Before putting the black cover case and the LEDs into the board, you have to put the IC chip into the IC socket, making sure that the circle at the top of the chip matches the one on the IC socket and the board. Now we have the 28 red LEDs. This is one of the LEDs here and I will put this LED in LED 8 there making sure that the longer leg that one on the left goes at the top of the circle and the shorter leg goes at the line where the white line is like so okay so I've completed this kit, however the LEDs should be coming out of the holes, like this. But, unfortunately, I misread the instructions and didn't put the LEDs through, I put them on the board first. Since this happened, I couldn't fit the normal size screw in, so I had to get some of my own and screw the battery indefinitely. But it works almost the same. So, I'll turn it on. There's one effect there, and then the push button's here. 